Hello everyone. Today I would like to show you all how to create a new Apple ID and set up a new iPhone for beginners. Let's have a look. Today I am going to set up iPhone 15 Pro Max. First, you need to turn on your iPhone. To turn on your iPhone 15 Pro Max, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo on the screen. Release finger when you see Apple logo on the screen. After some time you will see hello screen in many languages. Then slide your finger across the screen to continue. Now select language from the list. Scroll and select your language. Then select your country. Again you can scroll and select your country. In iPhone 15 and later you will see appearance. Choose the size of text and icons on iPhone. You can choose medium or large. Slide to medium or large. Select one of them to choose the size of text and icons on iPhone. Or you can keep it default and tap continue. Next screen, quick start. If you would like to set up a new device, tap set up without another device. Now you can select written and spoken languages. You can tap customize settings. By tap plus button, you can add preferred languages or go back and tap continue. Choose a Wi-Fi network and enter Wi-Fi password on your new iPhone. So select your Wi-Fi network and insert Wi-Fi password. Tap join. It may take a few minutes to active your iPhone. Software update. If software update available, you can update your iPhone right now or tap update later. Data and privacy. Tap continue. Now set up iPhone. You can set up for yourself or you can set up for your family. Tap set up for myself. Face ID you can set up later. Create an iPhone passcode. You can tap passcode options and set up later. Tap don't use passcode. Transfer your apps and data. For new iPhone setup, tap don't transfer anything. Apple ID. Sign in with an email or phone number to use iCloud, the App Store and other Apple services. If you don't have an Apple ID, tap don't have an Apple ID. From this screen, tap create a free Apple ID. Now enter your first name and last name, then date of birth. Tap continue. Email address. This will be your new Apple ID. If you have an email address, you can enter that email address on email address box or you can tap I do not have an email address. Do not have an email address. You can get a free iCloud email address to use with your account. Tap get an iCloud email address. Now type a new email address for your iPhone. You can type any name that should be at iCloud.com. Type any name and tap continue. Then tap create email address. Don't forget your new created email address. Apple ID password. Type a password for your Apple ID. The password must be at least 8 characters. Include a number and uppercase letter and lowercase letter. So enter password for your new Apple ID. Enter same password on verify field. Tap continue. Now enter your phone number for verification. Type your phone number and tap next. You will receive a verification code on your phone. Enter the verification code from your phone. Terms and conditions tap agree. Signing in. 
update your iPhone automatically, tap continue. Location services, you can enable location services. Then set up cellular, you can set up later. For Siri, you can set up Siri later in settings. Screen time, set up later in settings. Analytics, tap don't share. Now you can choose light or dark display. You can select dark or choose auto or select light mode. Tap continue, silent mode, tap continue. In iPhone 15 and later you can see action button. You can customize action button later so tap not now. Emergency SOS, tap continue. Welcome to iPhone. Swipe up to get started. That's it, your iPhone setup completed with new Apple ID. You can check your Apple ID details from settings. Here you will see your Apple ID, username and Apple ID email address. If you would like to download apps from App Store first, open App Store. Welcome to the App Store. Tap continue. Tap allow while using app. Now tap search button and searching for the apps that you would like to download. Tap get button, enter your Apple ID password and you will see this Apple ID has not yet been used in the iTunes store. Tap review to sign in then review your account information. Tap review. Complete your Apple ID. Turn on agree to terms and conditions. Then tap next on top right. Make sure payment method none selected. Now type your address. You can type street, city and town, state, postcode and phone number. When you have entered your address, tap next on top right. Apple ID completed. This Apple ID can now be used to access all Apple services. Tap continue. Now go back and try to download app. Tap get button beside the app. Enter your Apple ID passcode then tap sign in this will start downloading app app downloaded so these are the steps to create a new apple id and set up a new iphone step by step for beginners in iphone 15 and 15 pro max hope this video helped you please subscribe my channel by tap subscribe button also tap the bell icon to receive notifications about all new videos.